Pika people. Yellows. Yellows. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, we had a thingy up on Instagram. Okay, I had something up on Instagram. And I said we're going to do a question and a... A question and answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's you making me nervous. A question and answer. And yeah, this is what we're doing now. So, there is 50... 50... 53 questions that we got and I wrote them all down. <sighs> Why do you guys ask some difficult questions? It's difficult now. Okay. First question is How did you and your boyfriend meet? And when? You guys are gonna wait till the end of this video for me to answer that. Because you're like, I'm a vac man for die. We're gonna wait. That's number 53. First question is How long are you dating now? You answer it. Nine months. Yes. He knows you're dating nine months now. What was the hardest thing to deal with in the relationship? Yo. <laughs> you start. Hardest thing in the relationship was she didn't accept that I was on drugs. She made it clear that she was dating. But that is, for me, that was the hardest part to deal with in the relationship. What was the hardest part for you to deal with in the relationship? There wasn't any hard Okay, for me, the hardest part to deal with was we had, had a history. A very hectic <laughs> history, and he was on drugs and he used to sell drugs and all of that stuff. So I couldn't deal with any of that, like at all. I didn't accept such because I don't see myself dating someone with who's doing such things. But okay, so yeah, for me, that was the hardest thing to deal with in the relationship. How did he ask you out? He made me breakfast. Ne? He made me breakfast. And then after we ate. And did you go on your knee? You went on your knee, isn't it? Mm. He's on his knee to ask me to be his <laughs> girlfriend. So <clears throat> cute, this guy. How did your family react to you? To you? They, they, they weren't very happy at all because I never brought a guy home before and I don't really date people thought I was a lesbian. But yeah, my mother and father and brother, they were just all weird at first, but then yeah, they just got used. Okay guys, we're just making a pipe chop. Because a pipe on a Sunday after lunch is vital. You gotta smoke. It's a long pump, maybe. Maybe it's my baby. You got a question mark? How did your family react to you? Okay, um, yeah. As I said, my mother and father weren't comfortable with it at first. It was a yeah, it like a scallum, huh. you know, like a spoil. Huh. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking with you, baby. Uh, they weren't comfortable with it because I'm their baby, you know. And they don't want their baby to have a boyfriend. Because with boys comes babies. You know what I mean? <laughs> So yeah, they weren't comfortable with it. My brother, you guys. Are you gonna break it now? My brother was honestly the worst person to deal with us. Because he doesn't want me to ever. He told me I'm gonna have a boyfriend when I'm 30. Imagining no oh auntie us. Like no boyfriend that doesn't go auntie us. There's no like baby. Back. Okay, I'm gonna finish your salon. 
Um, my brother doesn't want me to have a boyfriend. He told me I'm gonna have a boyfriend when I'm 30 years old, which is very crazy, right? Anyways, yeah, my sister was chilled as always. She's always chilled. Yeah, it was basically just my brother being a problem. My mother got used to him, started liking him. My father started liking him. You guys like me too, man. Okay, nigga. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's simple. Sorry. You see the thing that people want. Okay, my baby. And then, yeah. So that's the... I don't want this video to be too long. I try to film it. Uh, how thinking? long? Number six is how long are y'all gonna be together before y'all move in together? I'm gonna let you answer that, baby. We first gonna get married and then we're gonna stay together. Yes, sorry. How long are y'all gonna be together? We're gonna be together forever. A lifetime. <laughs> yes. If you need me, after. Together forever. Even, even, eh? Yes, uh, number, seven. number seven. Number seven. What made you go natural? I love curly hair. I've always loved curly hair. And then I saw this girl. A picture of this girl. And then there's a girl from my area who is natural. And then I asked her, like, how do you do this? And then she told me, and then from that day onwards, I never looked back again. So yeah, so natural. I just wanted to embrace my own hair. Number eight, dream place where you would want to stay in the future. I honestly don't know where I want to stay, but I'm tired of Mpumalanga. Who would choose where I want to stay? No, where are you going to stay? United States. Okay, maybe you want to go to USA. Yes, I'm Sam Eko. Yeah. Let's go to the USA. I just don't want to live in Pumalanga anymore. But I feel like I'm going to miss my place when I leave here. Home is where the heart is, me. Uh, what else goes in life? Our goals is obviously to be in love forever together forever and to be rich because i mean i need a gym in my house i want all the kind of cars i want yeah niggas in their cars boys in their toys but yeah we just want to be happy like honestly my goal in life is to be happy i just want to be happy uh when is the baby coming here's a baby <laughs> Where's mommy's baby? Our first bone. Here's our baby, guys. Uh, favorite hair product brand or clothing? Products brand clothing. My favorite hair products. I don't have a favorite. Because all these things are nice. I don't have a favorite. Don't get my toes, man. Favorite brand. Of hair products, I first time only the question you are. Clothing, baby. But it's a slash product clothing. slash brand slash clothing. Clothing. Okay, my favorite clothing brand is Lacoste. I like Elise. And yours is Elise. Okay. When do you guys plan on getting married? <laughs> you have to answer because you have to ask me. I'm not gonna ask you. That's my secret, guys. I'll surprise y'all all. Yeah, funny. Y'all are gonna be a little spoil. I'll surprise y'all all. You're mad me. Nope. It's a boy. Um, what do you use for your edges? I use Eco Style Gel and a toothbrush. Chef Riri. Yo. Can you tell us on camera how you feel? About Romanian for my comfortable mark. Oh, guys, you don't wanna know how I feel about us girls. Deep though. questions, my boy. Well. You wanna go into your soul now? Driving crazy in so many ways. 
I love her with all my heart. Every day, every minute, every second she's on my mind. The cutest girl in the world. I don't wanna know. And I love her with all my heart. So cute! I don't long for her to have one second. Yes, I know. Tells me every day how it feels. What type of person is Riyadh? You want one word? Bye. <laughs> Berk. <laughs> I'm just joking. I aspire Berk, but it's very cute. Riyadh has a very beautiful heart, guys. Like, put aside the looks and everything else. Like, his heart is so nice. He has a pure heart. He gives her the, the, the opposite the scholars. So what she call us the Bumalar's money every day, even if it is last money. I like that so much. Um yeah, he's a very nice person. He's very wild, he's wretched. But like not wretched in a bad way. He was wretched in a bad way. Take it on Biki. Blame her brand. Let be her. Relax. Yes. <laughs> uh yeah. Yes, uh, he's funny. He's funny. He always makes me laugh every day of his life when I buy a sample. And he's the most romantic guy I know. So romantic. He even made me breakfast this morning in bed. And he made Sunday lunch. My chef, really. What attracted you to him? Guys. Guys. Look at this. It's a beard, guys. And imagine, I never used to like guys with beards because I feel like they look old. And it's just too mature for me. But, like, his, his, his beard. Why my boyfriend? Yeah. But besides, yeah, I think it was the looks. I'm going to be honest, it was the looks. And then the heart came afterwards as I was. Because I can't see beauty on the inside from the outside. So it was this. And then that. His heart. Oh, <laughs> uh, name six things you like and dislike about each other. Ria is gonna start because egg rocky and Sifana rocky pipe eight. So he's gonna start speaking first that he okay. can't work. Six things I like about my girlfriend. Number one is so. Booty, niggas, yo. <laughs> Number two, my favorite is that toes, yo. Number three, her personality. Number four, her smile. And number five, just the person she is, yo. yo. And number six, her loves. <laughs> That's all physical stuff. Okay. Six things you just like about me. Ooh, things are gonna get intense. I know how to play. Number one, she's too friendly. Yo. Number two. Can I carry on? Yes, please. <laughs> please carry on. Please do. <laughs> uh, what I don't like about you, baby. I'm too friendly, yes. What else don't you like about me? Applying to boys. Number three. I don't reply to boys. Yeah, I know you don't anymore. Number four. Three. Number three. Uh, and she's moody. Oh. She's by a very cool. Oh, Hunton. I'm a very moody person. And number four. If you can't get six, baby, it's fine. Hmm? There's not so many things I don't like about the war. I get angry for. Yeah. Okay, that's number four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Easy, it's all. What else? Think, baby. No, I don't want to think because there's not much I don't like about you. Okay, six things I like. Now, let me start with the dust light. Let's get that over and done. Then, Anderson's nice. I'm smiling. I'm the first time you what I don't like about Riyadh is that he used to smoke cigarettes. I don't like guys who smoke cigarettes. He used to. 
because a girl got him off the guys. Ask me how. And also. <laughs> I wouldn't say he's jealous, but like he's jealous. <laughs> no, don't lay like that. No, <laughs> and then number four, I don't like. What else am I like about him? Yes, angry first. Now imagine that relationship. Once I'll do it, not normal. I am so here This was number four. Number five. He also has moods. Like he's moody. And he takes it out on me. And I think that's all. <laughs> I think that's all. Yeah, but. Okay, now number six is now you can be wretched sometimes. Man. If someone drives and you get out of the car while he's driving, it's can't, man. That's number six is wretched sometimes. Okay, six things that I like about him is his beard and his smile and his heart, his kindness, and how romantic he is. Mm, that was four. Number five, I like his waves, guys. Like, You don't need to feel like I'm in reason anyway. And number six, he would do anything in the world to see me smile. Yes, I like it so much. He'd make so much sacrifices for me. Yeah, but number number eighteen DLC also I was getting married to each other one day. Yep. Definitely, no doubt about it. Most challenging part of the relationship. We've been dating for nine months, and for me, the most challenging part was like the drugs thing. But we're over that now. We're over the quiet. <laughs> but it's fine. We're dealing with it slowly but surely. And yeah, first challenging as well. Me, e uh, uh, no, speak, speak your mind. Let the world know. It's always complaining about my social media stuff like having so many followers and so many people knowing me and stuff and stuff and stuff that bothers him very much <laughs> <laughs> um how long were you single before dating your man i was single for one year and two months Do you think this relationship is forever? Yes, forever, forever. You think it's forever? Yes. Do you put makeup on Rubanian? No, no, I do not put makeup on. I put pawns and mascara. That's all. Do you do everyday exercises to get a firm butt? No, I don't jump every day. Only when I'm less. Would you still have dated him if he looked the way he looked before the glow up? Yes. Even though I was attracted to him. But he was cute when you were young with your round face. <laughs> with no beard, but he looked cute. Yes, I would. Whoever asked that question. Plans to settle down in the future reference made in terms of the promise ring. We are gonna settle down, definitely. But all in due time. Then, in bad luck. First time now. How do you two keep the balance in your relationship when it comes to spirituality? I want to make an example. I want to show you guys something. Because, like, when we started this relationship, we both made it clear that this is not about money, it's not about gifts, it's not about 
all these materialistic things not about that to be here for the love and affection and attention but i'm gonna show you guys something now okay? but i'm not gonna stop the video because it's fucking like in her but that's why it's in the cupboard baby it's not supposed to cover me I made this my boyfriend for Valentine's Day. Mm. It says World's Best Boyfriend Certificate. This didn't cost me any money at all. So yeah, that just shows that it comes from the heart. You don't need to have money and material things to make a relationship work. It ain't about that life, you know. That was number 26. Oh yeah, how did you put the band? you agree with me, Mosme? I agree, my baby. Okay. Oh, the questions is by are y'all engaged? Soon. <laughs> huh? But not now, not now. Not now. Not now. This is a promise ring. A girl is a promise. She's not her engaged. How did you start your journey with your curls? I think I already like basically answered that question. I transitioned for one year and then I picked chopped. What can I use to promote hair growth? Jamaican mm. black castor oil. It's good for the scalp. And essential oils like rosemary oil, lavender oil, peppermint oil. Yeah, all of these things promote hair growth. Who said I love you first? Obviously me, because I love her from the first day, so I didn't say I like you, I said I love you. Guys, <laughs> this guy, from day one, he told me I love you. And I was like, no, I like you, because you don't know me even. I felt I love you for you. Yeah, I said he loves me first, like day one really. Uh, what made you fall for him and vice versa? What made me fall for you? The beard, guys. Guys, his beard. Yo. His beard did the most. So basically, I fell for his looks first. And then, I made him the way I want him. <laughs> Because he was not what I wanted, so I transformed him into what I wanted, and he's fine with it. He's happy, and I'm happy. What attracted you to me, baby? What he made was you fall? Dancing open? for me, my man. Ah, you, you, you. Okay, I was dancing, and that's when you fell for me. And I had pixie rose in my hair. It was a strut. You. I mean slippers. I said it's licorice. I don't know what it was. You said I have licorice in your hair. And it has flexi rods in my hair. <laughs> Yo. Aliens are like it. Um, what are you going... When are you going to take the outfit swap picture? Guys, this jean is not going to fit my boyfriend. This is a size... I, I can't give me size 10. But we can do it, maybe. When are you going to do it? You'll see me when you put it board. Yeah. We'll do it, guys. Promise. You see, I promise you this video, and now it's here. So I promise you guys this outfit swap picture. And you're going to get this outfit swap picture, I promise. Your first date. We had a lot of dates. I think our first date is when we made breakfast for me. That was for us. That was our first date. Now for my breakfast, me. I'm just going to say four. That was our first date, and then after that we went to spa. We can't remember the date though. But yeah, favorite thing about each other. One favorite thing about each other, guys. You look can't let me answer it. I've been saying it. That's my favorite thing. That's my favorite thing. What's your favorite thing? No. Yeah, it is two. So you <laughs> must choose one now. I don't know. My toes is his favorite thing. And I don't like my toes. Like, he likes it, but I don't like it. 
He likes everything about me that I don't like about myself. And it is so cute. What is something you want to do together but haven't? I want to go bowling and ice skating. Yeah, we want to do all of that things. There's a lot of things we still want and to do. And we want to go on a vacation soon. Yes. Where are we going, Moss? Yeah, I said Moss is going soon. I can't wait. Uh, thoughts on girls who bash the girlfriend because they want the guy. That is disgusting. That is nasty. Girls who do that don't have hearts. Like, that's just me. And I just think, yeah, that just, that's not nice. If you want the guy and he has a girl. Oh, no, not expel there. <laughs> Aish, I'm uh, myself, not in luck. Yo! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, but that is not nice. You can't bash another girl because you want the guy. You don't bash her. That's a no-no. Favorite memory together? Um, we have a lot of memories together. But I think our favorite one is... The vacation we had. The vacation we had. Yeah. Two months, three months ago. Four months. I don't remember. It was in the beginning of the year. Yeah, we went to Little Eden. Before Eden. the Corona started. Yeah, before Corona. We went to Little Eden Resort. And yeah, that's our favorite memory together. <gasps> Sorry. What would you define as cheating? For me, cheating is buying another girl food. Flirting with... Like, if, if one of his girlfriends a girl like just a friend someone he knows that he maybe has on whatsapp and she uploads a picture and he comments on it like more that's cheating what do you define as cheating my girl cries with other guys and give other guys attention yeah i agree i also think that is cheating like imagine a guy taking me to go buy ice cream my little boyfriend no we don't do that over here no we don't do that do you all think past relationship secrets should be kept hidden uh, yes no what the, what again wait what <laughs> do you all think past relationship secrets should be kept hidden it's not a must but we also feel like what happened in the past you stay in the past you shouldn't bring it into this relationship if it doesn't like affect our relationship if he was dating someone in the past that was in the past if i would date someone in the past it's in the past ne? yes my guys are like all night talking what are some annoying habits of each of other couples that irritate y'all uh we don't really care about other couples like we don't even talk about other couples yeah we're not interested well what does irritate me the weight what does irritate me <laughs> is <laughs> is how people are gonna post each other every single day and then tomorrow i see that guy he's seeing another girl my son so in love no but no that is very annoying i don't like it also like girls there's no solely for the guy and whatever but she's busy flirting with the other guy yeah i know what kind of parents y'all think y'all would be i'm gonna be strict i'm gonna be strict okay that's true i shout all the children not the babies though my ex -Kyalika. And then he, he goes and takes the child to go play there in the sand and takes him to go wash his hands. He's gonna be the sweet, the spoiling daddy. I can't even become a spoiler, I'm gonna scare If you are having a bad day, would you want him to leave you alone or stay and cheer you up? Vice versa. I would want him to stay and cheer me up because I feel like if. I'm not feeling well, and then he's like, okay, go make a you maybe. It'll make me worse. And you? Would you want me to leave you alone or stay and cheer you up? My is difficult. <laughs> Yo, it's hard to cheer you up, yeah, like seriously. 
It's very hard to chill out. But yeah, what do you want? Let's chill me up, baby. Let's chill you out. Bye, bear. Um, number what is this now? Forty-four. What is the best relationship advice someone has given you to? They told us to not cheat on each other, not make each other dumb, to love each other and be honest. And yes, I think that was the best relationship advice someone has given us. Treat her like a queen. Yes. Do you think it's cool for your partner to be friends with their exes? If not, what would your reaction be and how will you deal with it? <laughs> Obviously, no, you can't be friends with your exes. No. It's a no, no. Can I be friends with my exes? If you want to. How? No, we your best friend, right? You're my bestie. Yeah, so we both do not agree with that. And if Riyad was, if Riyad is friends with his ex, I would be angry, obviously, because no one can chat and what, what, and what, uh, uh. no, no, so, I wouldn't even deal with it. You're right, baby, you're right. Yes, I'm always right, me. Majority. <laughs> <laughs> what is a relationship deal breaker for both of you? Cheating? No cheating, what? No, no cheating. cheating. That's a relationship deal breaker. Like, I wouldn't forgive Riyad if he cheats on me once. Ian Kier, gone. Ian Kier, it's tough. Ian Kier, it's tough. Don't even try. Yes. Yes, baby. I agree with you. Biggest difference between you guys. Sure. They are opposites. Rera Varua. I'm calm. He's a ratchet. <laughs> I eat slow. He eats fast. She can dance. I can dance. I can dance. My baby can dance. Yo, yo, yo. What is Mary Chai? What is Mary Chai? Balance, balance, yo. balance. Egg dance, I do that. It's balance. Mm, private propose or public? Uh, for me, I don't think it would make. But if I'm not ready, then imagine I must not say no in public. That is shame. Huh. <laughs> Did you say no? Can I must ask you. But what if I'm not ready for marriage? Again, what can I do? I think I would say yes, and then when we go in the house, and then I give you the ring back. I don't know, but okay, if I had to choose between the two. Public is also nice, just me and you, and then be romantic and stuff, and it's cute. Either way, I don't think it would matter. Biggest fears about the relationship? Okay. Losing each other, I think it's losing each other. I also think it's losing each other. I don't want to lose my baby, my baby does. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, that's our biggest fear. We don't want to lose each other. Number 50. Who is the oldest? Who do you guys think is the oldest? Look at us. Look at us. Who looks older? Yeah? Obviously. But he's not older than me. <laughs> I'm older than me. I'm the oldest. I'm not going to tell you how many years. But I'm not going to tell you how many years. Don't ask how old we, we just ask who's old. And then the last three questions is from Facebook people. Number 51, who has better hair? Oh, but you don't have nice hair. Is it going to end in tears? Hell no. Tears of joy, maybe. My ending tears of joy. Yeah. 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 How did your brother react when you met Riyad? <laughs> Say your chubby story. That first night, my brother met Riyad. It was the first night that he slept at our house. We have like an outside room. So he slept in the outside room and I was sleeping in the house. 
and my brother came from Mjaivo at like one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. My boyfriend slept like a club on backer. Give you all advice, stay loyal and love your girlfriends. It's the best advice I can give you all. Let's see what our t shirts say. Thank you, you know, problem. Easy problem. Thank you, man. Thinking us is here on us. On us, thinking us. Shout out to this is a group. This is Vela Samantha. Vela Sarafin. And Stan is here. That is thinking us. That is the problem. That is the problem. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I answered all of y'all's questions. And I am so sorry for taking two months for this video to be out. Yo. It took us forever. Maka paper blow me la medis gems. Okay, I'm going to give you advice. Blow the loss banda geleva van yala. I'm going to give you the best of me. I'm going to give you the best of me. I'm going to give you the best of me. I'm going to give you the best of me. Unfortunately, there was one question that was in the beginning that we forgot to answer. Riyad had to leave quickly, and I just remembered that there's one question that we skipped, and I think it's like the most important question that all of you guys have been waiting for. How did you and your boyfriend meet, and when? Okay, this is not a story that I like telling. Like, I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not proud of it. Like, it's a bit difficult for me to about this but yeah this is just one of the questions that most of you guys have been asking and i'm just gonna answer you guys so what had happened was this i met riyad <coughs> when he was buzzy <laughs> when he was buzzy with another girl him and this girl went dating dating but we won't go Okay, and I met him at this girl's house. She's not my, I wouldn't call her my friend, acquaintance, you know, people that you know. Yes, I know her, and then I met her, I, I met Riyad at her house. And from that day onwards, Riyad wanted me, you know, and I wanted him. But, <laughs> And then he left this girl for me. Yeah. And it's not something that I'm happy about or proud of. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you ladies to go and steal other girls' men. But the hot ones are the hot ones. And I just feel like it is what it is. <laughs> yes, girl. The, and like, I know I, I seem like I'm happy. Me. I am happy with Riyad, but I'm not happy with how we meet. And that. He had to break another girl's heart to be with me. It does not make me happy at all. But what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? I'm recording you. But um, yeah, I just feel like the hard ones were the hard ones, honestly. And I do not regret it because, okay, now let me not go into detail. But yeah, that's how me and Riyad met. And this was in November, ne? This was in November. 
and yeah from that day onwards Riyad and I have been talking and things escalated and whatever and whatever I'm not gonna go into detail of like everything that happened but yeah the point is that he was busy with another girl and then he left her for me and I'm not fine with that because I just felt like if you can leave another girl for me, you can for my boss for an enemy. But yeah, I believe you when he says you won't do that, so. Yeah, that's how me and Ryan met. And that was in November. I just forgot to add this to the video. So now, thank you for watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe.